Hey, good morning everyone, Tractor Man 44 here. Hey, y'all remember this D15 that I hauled home for a buddy of mine here not too long ago? Well, it sat over at my house for a little while, you know. And, but uh, at any rate, he got over here and pulled the head off of it. And uh, if you'd like, I'm going to show you what it looks like down inside there. It was somewhat of a surprise to both of us, but not too awful much of a surprise because we kind of suspected it, you know, with all the water and stuff that was in the air breather. So, uh, hey, take a look and we'll, uh, we'll show you what he's got so far. He was able to get cylinder number one and cylinder number four out. Number four was horrible. Uh, it's got a tremendous amount of rust in there. I can't focus real good in there to uh, get you a, a real good shot of it. But then two and three are just just as tight as possible. Uh, just can't get any tighter. Won't budge at the least bit either up or down. He's got the uh, rod caps off the, um, off the rods and he's actually got pressure being forced from the bottom up to try to dislodge them. And he's got his block of wood from up top trying to drive them backwards. And they've been soaking now for several months and uh, absolutely nothing's happened whatsoever. So we don't know yet if it's going to be a total, uh, all pistons, all sleeves, all rings and everything, total rebuild, all bearings and everything, or if it's just going to be the uh, isolated rear number four cylinder and um, maybe one new jug or if it cleans up, we might use uh, all the pistons and, and none of the rings though. Well, anyway, we'll uh, that was just a quick little video just to show you the updates on the old tractor. And like one of my buddies said one time when he stopped by my house, he said, oh, now I see where tractors go to die. Well, they come down to my buddy's house too and die too. So you know what? This Tractor Man 44, and we're out of here, guys.